Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So I wanted today's video to be a little more practical and address something that I hear a lot as a question from people I talk to and from my coaching clients. And the question is, am I doing it right? And how do I know if I'm doing it right? How do I know that whatever I'm practicing, whatever technique or whatever assumptions I'm practicing is actually effective and it's actually working to bring me my manifestation? This is what I'm going to discuss today, so stay tuned. So I know a lot of you guys get confused and you might get worried. You hear this coach and that coach say this or that. And remember each coach um, teaches from their own experience and from their own perspective. So it is inevitable that you will hear different opinions here and there. But I know that there's a lot on the internet, there's a lot on YouTube, there's a lot on books that you may be reading that you might be finding conflicting information. You might be feeling like, am I doing it right? How do I know that I'm doing it right? Well, I'm here to clarify this thing for you today. So those of you who have been following my channel for any length of time, you will have noticed that I don't actually teach any specific methods and I don't insist on any specific methods. And the reason I don't teach any specific methods, the reason I don't insist on any specific methods is because I've seen from experience, believe me, I've tried every method in the book. I've tried them all or almost all. And guess what? If I'm in a good state, they all work. I have had manifestations from every single method. I've had manifestations from scripting, from visualizing, from affirming, from inner conversations, from meditations, from um, recording affirmations and listening to them, from subliminals. I've had manifestations from every single method in the book. The, the only common denominator to all these methods was my inner state. If my inner state was good, if my inner state was stable and confident and knowing that I was going to get it or knowing that it was going to come to me sooner or later, it would come to me. It didn't matter if I scripted it, if I visualized it, if I did it as an inner conversation, as an affirmation or whatever. And this is why I don't emphasize any specific manifesting method because they all work. They all have the potential to work. But the more important thing, the more important part that you need to be focusing on is what is your inner state? Is that method helping you get into an inner state of confidence, of knowing that your desire is going to come? Is this method helping you feel more natural about your manifestation? Even if it's slow, even if it's gradual, if gradually you're starting to feel a shift, that's a good thing, that's progress. So this is why I tell you guys to always pick the methods, the techniques that are most natural to you. And I also say, if you're able to go straight to your desire, straight to the acceptance of your desire, do that. And if you do that, you don't need any techniques because ultimately what counts and what matters is your inner state, your inner energy that you're exuding, that you're projecting out into the world, your inner assumptions, your inner beliefs, what you're thinking, how you're feeling, what's your mental and emotional state. That's it. That's what manifests. It's not a specific technique. They can all help you manifest. I guarantee that. So having said all that, how then do you know that what you're doing is working? What you're doing is done right? Well, based on what I said, hopefully you've been able to guess by now what I'm going to say. And that is, if what you're doing, if what you're practicing, whatever technique, whatever method you have picked is actually making you feel good within, it's helping you get into a state that is calm. It might be somewhat neutral. I've said that before, it doesn't have to be an overly excited state, not at all. If it feels matter-of-factly that yes, this desire is mine, this desire is going to come to me, that's great, that's perfect. If you experience the emotions, that's also good, embrace that, roll with that. I'm not saying that is bad. 
And then if your overall feeling is a feeling of confidence, a feeling of, I know my desire is mine, I know it's going to come to me, a feeling of, I feel natural about my thoughts, about this desire. For example, if you're manifesting a specific person, a lot of you here manifest a specific person. So let's say you're manifesting your specific person um, to be back together with you. If when you started practicing, when you first started manifesting, you had a lot of doubts, a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities, and now you're feeling much more confident, you're feeling much more relaxed, you are feeling much more natural when you think that, yes, my SP wants to be with me. Yes, me and my SP are going to get back together. Yes, I know that my SP loves me. I know they have feelings for me. If you're in that state, then that means what you're doing is working. Whatever it is that you're practicing, whatever techniques you've picked, is actually being successful in bringing you to the right state, to the desired state. This is your number one factor. This is your number one measure to know that what you're doing is working, what you're doing is successful, that you're doing it right. Because remember, first you feel the inner shift and then the 3D reflects it. Then the 3D mirrors it back. So if you are uh, making progress into feeling that shift, or if you've already there and you're dominantly feeling that shifted state, that's perfect. Then you're doing it right. You can rest assured, you can relax, you can chill, and you can tell yourself, yes, I'm doing it right. Yes, it's working. Yes, it's mine. Yes. It's a yes. It's an inner yes, a big inner yes. Now, if you're just starting out or if you've only been doing it for a few days or a few weeks and you're not yet quite feeling the shift, that is okay too. As long as you're starting to feel a little better about your desire, a little more natural about it, a little more confident that it's possible for you and that it can come to you, then you're on track. Now, if the techniques you've chosen feel very forced, they feel very unnatural, um, if they feel like a lot of hard work, if they feel like you're just banging against a wall and you're not really feeling it, because the whole point of doing the techniques is to actually feel as if you are the person now that has their desire. So if you're doing techniques and they feel very, very forced, they feel like hard work or anything like that, maybe, especially if you've done it for a while, okay, let's say a few weeks, and you're still feeling like it's forced, then maybe you should pick a different technique. But if you're seeing progress, even if it's a relatively slow progress and a relatively gradual progress, that's still progress. You're on track, so keep going, keep practicing. There is going to come a day when you are going to feel that shift towards feeling very natural about your desire, feeling less obsessed about it, feeling less needy about it, and you're going to feel like, I have it, or I am going to have it. So to summarize what I've just said, how do you know that what you're doing is working? How do you know that whatever you're practicing is actually working? You know because you will be feeling the inner shift towards something that is more natural. You're, you're going to feel more natural about your desire. It's going to feel much more matter-of-factly. You're not going to desire it so much with this longing, this neediness, this obsession. You're going to want it, but not necessarily feel like you need it. You're going to feel fine inside. You're going to feel calm. You might even feel neutral and maybe even a little indifferent towards your desire. That's a good thing. It doesn't mean you don't want it. It just means that you've let go of the obsession. And overall, you know that you're doing it right by how you feel within you, what your dominant state is, what your dominant assumptions and beliefs are about your manifestation. And the more true and the more real and the more natural it feels for you, the better. If you've just started with the techniques, I suggest that you give it a little bit of time, you give it at least a few weeks maybe. And if it's still feeling forced, if it's still feeling like hard work, if it's feeling unpleasant, it's not supposed to feel unpleasant. It's supposed to bring you into the feeling of already being that person, okay? So if it's still feeling very forced, very unnatural, very um, not fun, let's say, then maybe you pick another technique, but give it at least a few days to a few weeks to see if you're feeling any progress because all techniques are going to bring up some resistance at the very, very beginning. And the last thing I said was that even if the progress you're seeing is relatively slow, relatively gradual, 
that is still progress. It might mean that you have a lot of resistance. So just keep practicing, keep going, and you will definitely start feeling the shift if you stay consistent in practicing your desired state over and over and over again, okay? With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.